Hello dear friend Do you know the Sri Lanka is a gift to the living creatures it is a bless it has optimum condition to life see the natural environment you can see mammals birds arthropods reptiles snails lot of kind of animals here in the picture you can see it is one of them now i am going to inform you about this innocent creature it is very very valuable animal we call it slender loris slender loris has a affinity with the human being it is belong to all the primata simply we can say it is comprised to monkey family significance of this animal is that it is living only in sri lanka and india there are two species of slender lorises red slender loris and other one is grey slender loris Grey slender loris have four different varieties or subspecies. Out of that four varieties, two varieties live in only in Sri Lanka, other two confined to India. We call them endemic varieties for each countries. Loris ledicarianus nordicus is living in northern part of sri lanka and loris ledicarianus grandis is living in highland rainforest of sri lanka do you know there are two localities in south part of india called malabar and mysore loris ledicarianus malabaricus is living in malabar area of india and loris ledicarianus Lidicarianus living in Mysore area of India. This picture shows the red slender loris. There are two different varieties of red slender loris. Loris tardigradus tardigradus is living in dry zone of Sri Lanka and Loris tardigradus ichthyosiboides is living in hot and plains of sri lanka among lorises red slender loris have small body minimum weight is around 103 grams red slender loris have little bit big body the weight can be around 300 grams Body length of slender lorises are varied 11.6 cm to 24.1 cm. The furry creature its body color vary variety to variety. The color of red slender loris is reddish brown and it is gray gray brown and buff or yellow brown. on grey slender loris loris has no tail though it is not belongs to ape group this nocturnal creature has front facing large eyes which enable them to precise their perception and vision at night lorises are quadrupedal their all limbs have opposable fingers a possible thumb and a possible toes that is very good adaptation to arboreal life hind legs have well developed index finger they are used to defense stretch their body and for a hunting 
Sexual maturity occurs after 10 months of birth of female and it is 15 months of male. Mating occurs twice per year but loris can only breed once per year. Gestation is approximately 160 to 170 days. Twins are very common among loris. After giving birth, females are not receptive to males. Loris are omnivorous, but they are very very highly insectivorous. They allow to eat some live animals like grasshoppers, worms, lizards, gecko and small animals. And also birds eggs, that is one of favorites. Fruits, leaves, flowers, berry, nuts also can be fed. Loris interact throughout the night and sleep in groups during the daytime in hollows of trees. They communicate with a range of vocalization and also use urine and scent marking and some visual signs they have to communicate. Lifespan is about 15 to 20 years. These downtrodden creatures are suffering due to various activities of the human being. Main thing is that habitat loss due to exploitation for roads, houses, industries and the agriculture. And also smuggle activities, poaching activities, in captivity also greatly contribute to deplete their population. Ultimately, IOCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, has declared that now slender lorries are in endangered. Even though red slender lorries are living only in Sri Lanka, they are in serious danger of extinction rather than grey slender lorries. Now let's see how to salvage these creatures. The important thing is that we have to reserve forest for them. Making awareness of valuability of loris since childhood of human being. We have to collaborate with international to save them. People have to harmony with them. Religious activities can be contributed to save this innocent creature. If we do not take any unprecedented vigorous step to save this innocent creature, it will also be a mysterious animal one day. Please do not allow to say that once upon a time there was an animal called Slendelaris. My friend, do you know, in the world there are another kind of loris. We call them slow loris. They are living in Southeast Asia. Their basic conformation is same as slender loris, but their maximum weight around 1 kilogram. Remember, I must say that Slow loris is the only venomous mammal of the planet. I want to ask another question. Do you know who is the smallest monkey in the planet? This picture shows that it is pygmy marmoset.